Hi, I'm Sean Clark. Today I'm standing in front of the Winchester Pub from the film Shaun of the Dead. Welcome to Horrors Holograms. Hey, I'm dead. Are you about 15p? So right now I'm in front of Sean's flat from Sean of the Dead. There it is right here, number 83. Pretty awesome. Oh. <laughs> All the way in England. E uh, Ealing, I think is the name of the city, I believe. There's a bus right there. And uh, it's making noise, but that's okay. We don't mind. Right here is the shop. This was the Bub's Pizza in the film. Homage to Day of the Dead, obviously, and Bub, the zombie. And there's the kind shopkeeper who was nice and let us film in there. <laughs> What's your name? Halil. Halil, nice to meet you. I'm Sean, pleasure. Nice uh, oddly enough, my name is Sean. <laughs> These photos are from when I first visited the store back in 2010. Notice that the floor still had the checkered board pattern like you see in the film. Pretty cool. Now looking at this photo, is this the same shopkeeper? I'm not sure. <laughs> Thanks a lot guys. Take care. Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So he walks back this way. He passes this gate here on the walk back. And you see the body laying there? The guy who asked for change earlier comes up here and he just kind of brushes him off like eh, I gave you change already come on kid's soccer ball is is laying here which kind of makes you think yeah he's probably probably a goner but here it is very cool now the backyard scene was not shot here that was at a different location oh the door is actually open that's cool he might still be annoyed this is the house, right here. And this box that had number 22 on it, there was another one closer to the street that the kid kicks the soccer ball off of. And it's now missing. I don't know if it was placed there just for that little ball gag, but probably not ball gag. Did I just say ball gag? Oh my God. Anyway, this is it. 
Super cool. As you can see, there wouldn't be a backyard. This is the house right here. This is the front is just around the corner. There is no backyard, so eliminates that possibility. <sighs> There's nothing more frustrating when you're trying to do a filming location, especially in a foreign country, and you take an Uber like an hour to a location and they decide to close early. And you get here and it looks like it's freaking out of business. <sighs> Tomorrow's my last day here, so now I gotta come all the way back just for this. It's great. I'm stoked. Super happy. Thanks, Garland Electronics. Look at this photo from 2010. The place looked brand new. My God, it's totally aged in 13 years. Well, unfortunately, I ran out of time. I wasn't able to come back, so I'm just going to show these pics from 2010 so you can see what the inside looked like. Now, take a look at that red sticker on the front door there in the corner. It's still there. That's kind of cool. Anyway, pretty much looks the same as it did in the film. Wasn't a lot of changes, but I can tell you what. From the outside, the difference in 13 years, if that's the difference on the inside, whoo, I'm dreading what it could look like. Well, notice that that counter is still there. See the rounded edge? Yep, there it is. Still in there. You've got red on you. Now I'm heading to Broadway Fruiters. Fruiters. Fruiters? Fruiters. Fruit place. This was the florist in Shaun of the Dead. Now the shot starts here, you can see this pillar had some graffiti on it, and a guy is running down the street, this way, passing all these buildings, until it gets to here. This is the florist. Sir. Sir. Sorry. And inside this window, Sean notices something across the street. Over there. A zombie. Or crazy person? Who knows? <laughs> so right here where this tree is, is where the fake bus stop was put up. And you can see behind Sean, through the bus windows, that right there. He gets off the bus and proceeds in this direction. Walking along here to these houses in the background until he is suddenly startled by Yvonne. Boom! Right here. And the way it's shot with Yvonne, I don't believe this tree was here, just like I don't believe that tree was there at the time. They look fairly new, you know, especially since 2006, 2005 was it? Six, five, six, I think. Anywho, um, they're kind of tight on Yvonne. So you're seeing this and you see like the cones and everything, kind of construction stuff happening. And they're working on the person in the car that would roughly be right about where that one is, but pointing in the opposite direction. And they have the conversation right here. And Sean has the realization he may have forgotten something. And this location was found by my friend Rich. First time ever been found. He found it, he gets credit. And now we're moving on to the next one. Oh, hello. Who's a pretty boy then? So right behind me is Sean's mother's house, or flat, from Shaun of the Dead. And this is at 37 Abbott's Garden might notice the pole here where Ed crashes the car. Let's go take a closer look at this place. So most of the action goes down right here in the driveway. Fighting off the zombies and whatnots. And you can see there's the front door there. And it has a double kind of driveway, like a roundabout driveway. It goes in and you can get all the angles here. And of course, yes, right there, where Ed crashes the car. Because he wants to drive that Jaguar. And who can blame him? 
a fake sign pole was placed in the ground right about here next to this pole and the car would have been parked right here on the grass. And you see this in the background behind Sean as he's getting in the car. So this here used to be a garage. As you can see here in the photo I took from 2010, but it looks like it's been converted into a small bedroom. And they rescue Barbara, and then they head off in that direction. Next, we're gonna head to Liz's flat to try to rescue her. What do you think, Rich? Are we gonna pull it off? Let's, let's do it. Where's the Uber? The car pulls up right here and parks pretty much where this van is. So through the car that pulls off this way, you can see this building back here. Sean jumps out. He heads this way over to Liz's apartment building or flats and he runs this way. He hits one zombie over here, moves over this way, gets another zombie over here and then heads for the front door. Ooh, 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 heading down and hits the buttons, which has changed. Obviously a different keypad, but this is Liz's apartment building right here. We're led to believe she lives in one of these. So here is where the interior of Liz's flat was shot. And I believe it was probably this window right up here because of the balcony, either that one or the one just below it, because he could easily sit out there and do the scene. Now the bottom windows don't match like the top. However, you can see some, there are some other windows here like that like some of the ones over here. But I do believe it would have been over here. One of these windows is the interior of Liz's flat on this side here. Not gonna get to see the inside, but we'll go check out the outside. This can be seen behind Sean. So just like any good Sean would do, he goes to save his girlfriend by running in here, climbing up to save her life. And it's the Cunningham house because they were such huge Happy Days fans. Had nothing to do with Friday the 13th. As you can see from this photo from 2010, this place has aged quite a bit. But one thing that was really cool back in 2010 is that door behind me and the keypad. Take a look. It was exactly the same as it was in the film. Unfortunately, it's since been replaced. So they come out this door, pans this way, fighting the zombies and moving along over here. One gets pushed up against this tree. And they're looking around. And then the car pulls up right here. Nick Frost has a little controversial line. After hearing that, they run down this path and jump in the car and take off. Now what? Well, we gotta keep moving. Everybody okay back there? Oh, yeah. So Sean and the gang start heading down the alley this way.
He then heads around a corner and again bumps into Yvonne. Sean! Now, if you come to this location, there are these sticky stinger plants that uh, will really mess you up if they get you in the legs. So I'd wear tall pants, low, no, long pants, not tall pants. Well, I'd wear tall pants. I'd wear long pants because they definitely could get you. Also, if you're traveling through this alley, be careful because there's a lot of sketchy people hanging out in it. Oh. See, what did I say? The Winchester's just over there. Over where? Over there. The Winchester is just over that fence, all right? So here we are at the Winchester pub. Now this shot was achieved from shooting from a park, see right here, not actually that backyard. That backyard was another location. This fence here was a fake fence put up to pan up so you could see the Winchester just above the fence. Now immediately you might notice that the bottom of the Winchester looks very different. Now I'm not 100% sure if it's just been remodeled, but the bottom there, that might have been a facade built just for the film. I kind of feel like it was just a facade. I don't think that was the way the building originally was, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. When I was there in 2009, it still looked like this. It didn't have that facade, and that was only a few years out. Well, let's go take a closer look at this, and you can see I'm coming out of the park now, and there's a shot when you first see the gang walking towards the Winchester you'll see that this gate right here to the park is right behind them see right there so that is where the shot was actually shot from inside that park and not that backyard which like I said before was another location now I'm going to take a closer look at the front of this building when I visited in 2009 it was only about four, five years tops after Shaun of the Dead had been filmed, and that facade was not there. So I think it was actually built for the film. These are some photos from 2009. That's James Duvall and I standing in front. We were actually super bummed that when we got there, it wasn't an actual pub. We were really like, let's go get a pint at the Winchester, or whatever bar stood in for the Winchester. As you can see, there's the sign. The pole is still there which is pretty cool. Even though we couldn't have a pint at the Winchester, we were still super stoked to just be there and actually see the location. As you can see, the top of the building looks exactly the same. It's just this area here that has changed, or more than likely has just been hidden by that facade. I'm really going all in on the facade theory, just, just so you know. So now we're gonna go around the corner here and look at a location that was a pretty crucial scene in the film. There was this entrance right over here where Nick Frost sits down and gets on the phone and Sean knocks it out of his hand. And they turn and see the horde of zombies staring back at them. You can see those buildings in the background match up perfectly. This was a pretty epic location to be at. I just loved it. This wasn't an actual drive-through street. This was like a walkway. It, it actually stopped here and you can see in one of the scenes that we'll show you in just a second that this has changed drastically. It's gonna be good. So hope you enjoyed this episode of Shaun of the Dead. We'll see you on the next one.
That's great. That's great. That's <laughs> low, Tom.